In this JavaView online training video, I will be demonstrating how to edit gaps in your sequence alignment. I've already loaded part of a Feradox in sequence alignment using the URL on the screen. This can also be found in the video description. JavaView's editing interface allows whole sequences to be moved within an alignment. First, I select the sequence in the Sequence ID panel using the left mouse button. Then I press the right arrow key to move the residues to the right, and the left arrow key will slide the sequence back. A group of sequences can be moved within the alignment. I hold the Control key as I select the sequences by clicking the left mouse button. This selects a group of sequences. I use the right arrow key to slide all the sequences along to the right. This editing can be undone by going to the Edit menu in the Alignment window and select Undo Slide Sequences. Gaps can be added into sequences. To insert gaps into a single sequence, I select the Sequence of Interest in the Sequence ID panel using the left mouse button. I hold down the Shift key and I place the cursor on the residue where I want the gap to appear. I click the left mouse button and then drag the sequence to the right until the required number of gaps have been inserted. If you forgot to hold the shift key down, you will make a selection rather than moving the sequence. This can be cancelled by pressing the escape key. To undo the editing, I go to the edit menu of the alignment window menu and select undo edit. To insert gaps into a group of sequences, First, I select the group by going to the Selection ID panel, holding down the Control key whilst I use the mouse to select the sequences of interest. Then, keeping the Control key pressed, I move the mouse cursor to the immediate right of the position in which the gaps are required. I then left-click the mouse and move the cursor to the right. The gaps will appear to the left. If I hold the Shift key rather than the Control key, then gaps are inserted only between the residues in the sequence on which the cursor is located. Gaps can be removed by holding down the Shift for single sequence or Control for a group of sequences and then dragging the residues to the left. The keyboard shortcuts to undo edits is Control Z on a PC or Command Z on a Mac, whilst Control Y on a PC or Command Y on a Mac will redo the editing. If you want to go back to the original version, go to the File drop-down menu and select Reload Function. Gaps can also be edited in the Cursor mode. To enter the Cursor mode, I use the F2 key on a PC or the F2 and Function key on the Mac. In the Cursor mode, I place the cursor on the residue to the right of where I want to add the gap and then I press the Space bar to insert a gap. The residue under the cursor is shifted to the right. Gaps can be removed in the cursor mode by pressing backspace. Five gaps can be inserted by pressing 5 and then press space. To insert gaps into a group of sequences, I select a group from the Sequence ID panel as before and then hold down Control space or Shift space. Note, all gaps can be removed from an alignment by going to the Edit menu in the Alignment window and selecting Remove All Gaps. In our JavaView User Manual, we have several useful editing alignment exercises. The manual is available to download from the JavaView website. Please check out our other training videos at www.jalview.org. Goodbye!